tips have touched. I repeat, the tips have touched. So if you understand just how big this is for the price of Bitcoin, hit that like, hit that subscribe, get signed up to Femex below if you buy Bitcoin or altcoins. And without any further ado, this is quite honestly uh, quite ginormous. We see the price of Bitcoin doing something, and I actually just saw something else that kind of blows my mind in terms of what the price is doing. And the last time both of these things happened, they actually happened at the exact same time. And it also led to the biggest pump of the last few years. So obviously on the daily chart for Bitcoin, we see we're very much right now above the 21 day moving average, the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. This 200 day was so important to get above. Uh, but on the weekly chart as well, you see we have about roughly a little over 48 hours or a little over two days until we get a weekly candle. Obviously, we want to see a weekly candle close well above this downtrending level of resistance. So it, pretty much anywhere above 66,500 or I mean, ideally, the higher, the better. So anything above pretty much 67,000 in a weekly close would be fantastic. So uh, obviously, weekly closes are still really important. But the weekly chart, we're now seeing the cross. OK, the very first MACD, we see the tips touch right here. And that has fired off this green, uh, the first green we've seen since back in October of 2023. It's true. Take a second to celebrate. The tips have officially touched. Leading, in my opinion, and, and I mean, really, it's not even an opinion, but it, it's very likely we're heading, heading into a very strong mega pump soon. Like we're talking about literally could be right now. Okay. We're at that point to where the signals are there. Now, we also saw this was the last time we saw this, you know, as I've mentioned many times, was back towards the end of October 2023 when Bitcoin was in the low or mid 20,000s and then it exploded over the next few months. What we also see that has just happened as well is that this is the very first time on the daily chart that the 21 day moving average has crossed above the 200 day moving average. This is the first mega cross that we've seen. OK, we fell below this uh, back in August of 2024 when Bitcoin plummeted to the lowest level it's seen of this trading range where it plummeted down to this level right here, a giant wick. It was down to about forty nine thousand two hundred. So slightly below 50K. Ultimately, 50K did hold, but it just went very, you know, right down to there. And that was when we got this bearish cross. Now, Bitcoin was significantly above it for months and months. And the last time that it had the cross was all the way back in, again, October of 2023, exactly when what I just said, um, this chart, the MACD, the last time we saw this as well. So we look at this chart, really, we're getting a cross on the RSI, but also on these daily moving averages telling us the exact same thing. Uh, so I find it very hard not to take that as like a, another confirmation of very bullish signal. Now, the MACD, we've been pumping right for the last, I mean, if we look at a daily chart, we've been pumping pretty much since September began. I mean, yeah, there was a pullback towards the beginning of October, but for the most part, it's been going relatively up. Uh, again, I mean, from September, the end of September to the second week of October, it was, it was some dumpy and some sideways, but ultimately, um, Right. If you fell asleep at the beginning of September and woke up now, we've just gone up about almost almost like sixteen thousand or a little over sixteen thousand dollars so far. But the RSI, remember when that got its bullish cross weeks ago back towards the middle of September? Now we're getting it on the MACD as well. These are long term time frames. These are huge. Bitcoin is reclaiming some of the biggest things that it needs to do. Uh, now, there is one giant level ahead of us, and that's very obvious. I mean, you can take a guess. 70,000 US dollars. It is the last giant significant level that Bitcoin has seen, meaning, you know, if you go 50, 60, 70,000, those are these giant every $10,000 levels. 70 was the highest $10,000 level we got. We never got to 80,000. 70,000 is the highest. And you can see there's a fair amount of VRV, VRVP uh, trading volume here at 70,000. It's significant. It's pretty big. Um, but really, I think the bigger reason why it's so big is because it will be breaking the second consecutive lower high and putting in a higher high for the second time. So we broke this lower high 
or sorry, yeah, we broke this lower high here, broke it. Here we are, uh, get, we're right there. If we can get a pump just in a couple more percent, even up to right here, then we shatter this previous lower high as well. Uh, remember, we have so many also higher lows in now, which is really good for the price. Um, after 70, the, there was a clump right at about, I mean, it, it, there's not that much because it was right around like 71, 72. But then the, the all-time highs are right around 74,000 or a little bit below 74,000. So, I mean, keep that in mind. At this very second, at the time of recording, we're only $6,000 away from new all-time highs for Bitcoin. What does that look like in terms of um, like a daily pump? Like how much percent we have to go up? A seven to 8% pump at this moment would get us to new all-time highs. Bitcoin has pumped well, way more than that in days. So I'm not saying it's happening today, but I'm saying that you know we're, we're very close. We're extremely close. And this is the day, if you're looking at a daily chart, I, I kind of would advise to really even not get too hung up on the daily because maybe we'll dump in a couple minutes and then by you know an, an hour after that, we're pumping again. It doesn't matter. The point is you look at this weekly chart, there are many signals flashing, just screaming in our faces right now hey, breakout imminent, like breakout literally imminent. Uh, and I actually want to highlight this as well. So uh, Bitcoin, according to OnChain College, has never had a cycle peak without the lower time frame. Long-term holder NUPL spending multiple months in euphoria greed. Uh, basically, the long-term holder net unre unrealized profit loss indicator you see here, we spend a lot of time in this. We spend a lot of time in this really high area that turns blue here. We haven't spent any time here. We haven't seen it at all. So again, we have not seen peak greed in euphoria at all. I mean, this this space is still pretty like. I mean, I would even say depressed. Um, but yeah, I mean, not even close to to the top in my opinion. And again, I, I default back to this chart of the entire crypto market cap. I think that we have plenty of time. I mean, time is the best metric, I think, because so far these cycles have been following time closer to, than anything. So that's absolutely insane, I think. Uh, obviously, we see the stock market has been setting new highs every week. But um, yeah, right now, it's actually down a little bit today, the SPX, but I believe we had record highs in like the Dow and stuff yesterday. But point is, uh, we're seeing the DXY also drop a little bit today. We're seeing the crypto market cap break above its 200 day moving average. And overall, things are looking quite large. How do I say this? This is exactly the type of thing we see before we potentially see those explosive moves. What am I talking about? I'm talking about before these type of moves, before these types of moves. I think we're in a setup to where we can very quickly see one of these. And, and what am I talking about when I say that? This is like a very quick 30% pump, a very quick 20% pump, a very quick 25% pump, a very quick 40% pump over just a couple of days, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I'm saying we're on the verge of something like that. And that's extremely bullish, uh, big time. And get sent up to Femex below if you want to buy Bitcoin or altcoins. And without you further ado,